During natural disasters, storms, and emergencies, roads often become blocked off or obstructed. This can be hazardous during evacuations and or prevent emergency services from providing necessary aid. The edit mode functionality provides the ERAP a way of creating points and segments on a map, visually representing where certain blockages are. To enter edit mode, you must be on the default search page. Then click the edit tab. Now in edit mode, we can add new blockages to the map. You'll have to zoom in a bit to see the current blockages and any new ones we create. We can create a new blockage by using a street segment. Simply find the street that is blocked and click on it. A pop-up should appear. For this example, let's say there is flooding along Florida Boulevard and Atlantic Beach between Penman Road and Hagler Drive. Choose the road segment along Florida Boulevard between Hagler and Penman. The blocked street segment pop-up will now need to be filled in, just like the point blockage. The blockage ID street, and the to and from addresses are automatically populated, so don't worry about that. In this scenario, let's say the eastbound lane is flooded, but the westbound lane is navigable, so the blockage type would be considered partial. You will now specify what is causing the blockage. We are only dealing with flooding in this example, so we will set electric to no, flooding to yes, and tree down to no. Next we will fill out some information regarding the time and date. Each date and time field has two drop down boxes. One for the date and another for the time. From top to bottom we date and time the fields for when the blockage was discovered by the crew, when the blockage was assigned to the crew for cleanup, when the crew is headed to the blockage to clear, and when the crew has arrived at the blockage, and when the blockage was finally cleared. Not all of this information will be filled out when the blockage segment is created. Let's say we knew the flooding started at about 8 a.m., and a crew was assigned shortly thereafter and headed to the site 30 minutes later. I'll put today's date in the date field and 8 o'clock for the time of discovery. I'll also go ahead and specify the same date for the crew assigned and 8.15 at the time. They were headed to the flooding at 8.30, so we will enter that info as well. We can exit the pop-up and the street segment is visible in orange, indicating a partial block on the map with some data tied to it. Any helpful or necessary pictures or files can be attached to the point to help the crew by choosing a file to upload. If you accidentally place the blockage in the wrong location, you may delete the segment before it is created with the delete button at the bottom of the pop-up. You can close the pop-up and the segment along with the pop-up info is saved and can be edited later when the crew has arrived. In this instance, let's say 10 a.m. and then when the flooding retreats the next day. So we'll enter the date and 10 a.m. for when the crew arrived. And we will set the clear as tomorrow at, let's say, 9 a.m. We'll save the edits. And the street segment is now green, indicating the street has been cleared and ready for traffic to move through smoothly.